How about a Plextor SSD, the M5 Pro Extreme, 256 gigabytes worth of it, right there. Plexter, that's a blast from the past. Hey, you know, I was actually, I was I was slightly worried when this came in because Plexter, for me, has always been a name that means extreme quality. Like, back in the day, if you had a Plexter, you knew what was up. And if I would ever go over to a nerd's <laughs> house and you see the entire computer, you like look over and you're like, da 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 da, Plexter. Yeah, you are one of those <laughs> nerds. You are one of the nerds that knows what's going on in the world. I still have one of those ancient Plexters in my work machine. We had one on the desk for a while and I don't think we got any comments about it. I was sad. Yeah, we had a slot loading Plexter on there, as a matter of fact. <laughs> one of the ones that's like a multi. It was the kind that you could literally, you could put dirt in the CD tray and just put that in the drive and out would pop a CDR. It was crazy. That good. It was sand. You had to put a little bit of water in I don't even know. <laughs> um, so right, with this drive, I'm not disappointed. So the Plexter name it's still here. And one thing that I like about this, compared to a lot of the other drives that are in the same speed, this one feels very enterprise. It's It's got some interesting features. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about what you're looking at here. Now, first off, they're using Toshiba 19 nanometer um, Anand flash. The controller is the Marvel 88SS9187, uh, otherwise the Monet. Yeah, the it's, Monet. it's interesting because this is, I think, the first one that we've tested that has this Marvell controller. Because, you know, most things are Sandforce or, you know, one of the, or Samsung's got its own controller now. Yeah, we've, we've done a lot of Sandforce stuff. And uh, this one differ, differs than, San, than uh, Sandforce in a few ways. This controller, uh, it's SATA 3.1, it's got on chip RAID, of course, uh, DDR3, and uh, it can have up to one gigabyte of DDR3, but this one has 512 megabytes. Um, if you get like the 512 gigabyte version, 768 megabytes. How about that? Right on board. Um, and they advertise around 500 megabytes per second uh, sequential read and write speeds. So there you go. And uh, best in class random read write speeds. It's also what they say. So we're going to put this thing through the tests and see if it really does 500 or not. And uh, the one thing that I find really impressive, I mean, just, just transferring files, I mean, whatever, IOPS. I love IOPS. Random is very important, and IOPS helps with that. So max IOPS, 100K uh, for read, and 86K for write. All right, here's the Addo Disk Benchmark, as you can see there. Uh, we got the write up to uh, 441, and, oh, 442, we'll round it up. And the read was 521, so it's not the fastest drive that we've ever tested, but it's, it's up there. It's nearing the theoretical limit of SATA 3. Yeah, we've tested some that had the write that were, you know, above 500 as well. So it's not the fastest, but the read is very fast. Um, and the IOPS, again, the randoms are going to be really nice on this. Overall, it actually held up pretty well. Um, the most strenuous thing we did with it was fill it with a whole bunch of data and then see how the write performance was. And it, it really, we, we thought it was a problem with the testing um, or a problem with the drive or something because the write performance wasn't very good But then we discovered that trim had somehow gotten turned off. So well, we this one doesn't have its own internal garbage collection No, you know it requires trim you have to have trim and if you don't know what trim is uh, Did we do a video showing people how to turn trim on? I think we did it's one of the max hacks videos from we back did. when so I'll put a link to that on the screen It's an old max hacks video, but it talks about uh, how to enable trim on your system You can you know enable that and then get more speed out of your drive but this one does not do some of that stuff but that's this is something more like you would see in a, an enterprise level drive we not something you see on like a we literally enabled trim and about an hour and then we left the computer alone for about an hour and when we came back after an hour the write speed was already back to normal um, without having run the trim the write speed was only about 50 megabytes per second because it was having to clear space as we were riding which was you know glacial but once we got the trim issue worked out it was fine some drives do crazy stuff on their controller to try to do garbage collection in the background but I, th I think it's actually a feature of this drive that it's honoring the trim setting in the operating system it depending on the file system the drive isn't intelligent enough to do proper garbage collection if it does it wrong or it makes a mistake it's going to lead to data corruption this thing also has 128 bit ECC apparently we didn't really have a way to test that um, but the error correction and error stability uh, wear leveling stuff in this drive is one of the features that they tout and it's one of the core features of the Marvell controller. So we're going to be using this thing in, in a few different builds to play with it um, and then I think we may have to send this back to Plextor. But I wanted to play with it more. <laughs> yeah and if, if you're someone who gets into the uh, aesthetic you know it's got the brushed aluminum finish and it does have a nice solid build quality to it. It's um, seven millimeters so it'll work in you know Zenbooks. Like it the, will work in a lot of laptops. If you have not seen our Zenbook teardown where we install a new SSD. This will work in that, so you guys should check out that video link on the screen right here.
go check that out. Watch it. Learn how to install one of these in your uh, in your ZenBook or in your other laptop. I, I do like the, the fact that it's nice and slim. Oh, another thing is uh, this thing's got certified AES-256 encryption. I need to put that through the paces, and we have not done that because uh, the SandForce controller um, had some problems with AES. It's AES-256 encryption um, in a hardware version not too long ago, and so that we sort of tripped over those bugs. But this thing supposedly is AES-256 certified, which is very high security, and so we need to test that and make sure that's awesome. I did see on the back of the box was a five-year warranty. Oh, yeah, five-year warranty. So in case you guys are worried about, like, you know, data... Uh, that's that's one thing I see a lot of people who have not moved over to, to uh, SSD. Um, I see them on the forum and stuff saying like, oh, I don't want to move over there because my drive's going to die in like a year. That's not the case anymore. So with a five-year warranty, I mean, if the drives were dying in four years, they would be out a lot of money. So I, I would expect it to last at least five years, if not more. Probably more than that, depending on you know how how you use it. If you're rewriting it every day entirely, maybe. I, I was know. pretty impressed with how consistent the performance was after we abused it because usually with SSDs, you know, you get it out of the box and it's fresh and it's really fast and then after you abuse it a little bit, it's still fast, but it's not quite as fast. It's about the same speed after you abuse it. This thing was consistent. Well, I read that the Marvell controller that this thing uses doesn't actually use compression and the Sandforce one uses compression. And so sometimes on some workloads, the Sandforce is faster and slower. This one is very consistent. If you guys uh, want to check the uh, the price, there's uh, right in the top here, underneath the description, you guys can click there, see the price. Or you can go to the article on our website where we talk about this. And um, we always have the current prices up there. You can just click, check them on Amazon, eBay, whatever. So that's the uh, Play Store M5 Pro Extreme, solid, reliable, and uh, consistent.